Hey everybody, I want to give you a heads up on the importance of proper identification when foraging. Now this bush behind me here, you can see a little warbler right there. Cool. Yellow warbler right back there. <laughs> um, anyhow, this bush behind me here with this brilliant right red fruit and the three lobe leaves. Check this out. I took a clipping here to bring home for identification. And the first thing I came up with is, was that I thought it was high bush cranberry. This fruit here has a very large flat seed. I don't know if you can see right there. Just like high bush cranberry. See that large flat seed right there? However, the real tell here is that the leaves, um, the lobes of the leaves are not um, just a simple kind of recess on the three lobes. You can see there's different ridges on the lobes. So I kept up my search and arrived at that this is actually a viburnum, viburnum opulus, which is actually naturalized from Europe and Asia. So it's a naturalized viburnum and it is edible apparently in small amounts. However, it is toxic took a, a very small bite of this fruit and it's extremely acidic, very astringent. It's not something that I'm going to be eating, especially since I know it is not cranberry. Looks a lot like highbush cranberry, but it's not. It is a beautiful shrub nonetheless, uh, fruiting here in the late summer in New England. Hey, thanks for watching everybody. Please give a thumb up for safe foraging and proper identification. See you next time.